Hi everyone. Yesterday we talked about the Season 24 patch notes. I'm sure most of you have seen them. If not, go check the link in the description. I'm not gonna go through everything anymore. Just in short, there's a big inner V-Work, which is most likely gonna be some super OP set next time around. There's gonna be a Bone Spear nerf and the Valor nerf and the season 24 theme which is ephemeral items which actually sound quite exciting so this left me with the thought that they actually put a lot of effort in some of those patches you have the set rework which you know they need to come up with the right uh, new mechanics and to program them and kind of balance it out then they also made this ephemeral items theme which to me sounds like a lot of work but we haven't seen them yet so yeah let's see but in general, we have actually not really small changes. And the same happened last time around in Season 23 with the follower rework and uh, some other small things. So there is actually, I feel like, a lot of like mm, innovation being done in some cases. Now, the issue that I have with this patch, the big issue is where are the buffs? So this was Season 23 and we have the set leaderboards in the game where you know you can uh, filter by class and by set and uh, everything has its own leaderboard and you can very clearly see that there are a lot of really underperforming sets that are not just outdated and actually need a rework like they did with Inner's Mantra which was a very good target for a rework but there are also other sets that are just fine you know most Demon Hunter sets most Witch Doctor sets maybe besides Arakia or something they are, they are fine, they have their own unique playstyle, they don't need a rework, they just need numbers. And this is the case for a lot of different builds. But not only this, but even if they want to rework something like Arakia or Immortal King or Raker or whatever in the future, they could still buff them now and still rework them at a later point, I believe. It, it doesn't really change the playstyle for now, but it will just give a bit more emphasis to those sets and uh, you know maybe if you at the start of the season build this set at, uh, at the beginning and this is what you have you can actually do something with it instead of you know crying because you didn't find your uh, frenzy or your waste set and of course similar with the other classes not too long ago i made a video talking about how i believe the balance should be done and i think it is mostly about the speed farming potential because speed farming and grs is what you do 90 percent of the time in a season and kind of like bringing all the sets up to a level where you can at least do like GR 100s or so in three minutes or maybe 105s, maybe 110s. So kind of like close to the top level where you can just group up with anyone with any set and you can kind of like play together. I think this will be the optimal scenario because the solo set leaderboards already give each distinct set its own ranking and you don't necessarily need to compare them in pushing you know, mostly need to compare them in farming if you play a raymond monk and you group up with your poj friend you're gonna be you know 20 tiers behind or something in damage you're gonna do nothing compared to your friend and this is a big issue that the game has now the thing is that not only do we have the in-game set leaderboard rankings to kind of give an idea of how bad a set is but we also have, for example, the set rankings here on my Discord. So I want to highlight this quickly in case you haven't seen it. There's a channel D3 rankings. We have the highest paragons here. We have the set performances. And uh, this was made by Apocryphus. Very nice. And here's every worldwide rank one clear of each set. So we see, for example, top one is Masquerade, then Valor, then Firebird. And that's actually Waste on number four. And then when you scroll down to the bottom, you see here on the bottom is Tragul, there's Inarius, there's Pestilence, three times Necro actually, there's Raymond, there's UE, there's Marauder, etc. Now you have to see that especially the extremely weak sets and extremely Paragon dependent, extremely squishy sets, extremely hard to play sets are also not necessarily pushed that much. For example, Tragul definitely has a higher potential than this at 5k Paragon and so does Inarius, which is actually quite a lot higher so you know they can end up you know at least five years higher than this because yeah these are not very competitive leaderboards because they are so weak but even so even if you you know just slap on let's say five GRs in your mind for you know someone trying really hard and actually getting like a top clear like it happens with the actual best sets where people you know spend thousands of keys to, to try to get the rank one you could still take all those really weak sets and give them a huge buff, something like double the damage, 
triple the damage, even quadruple the damage, it doesn't even matter. From a balancing perspective, they are so far off that you don't have to be very careful about, you know, how many times you multiply the damage. If you look at this here is our max roll solo tier list, the pushing potential of each set and each uh, build that we have. And you see we have like D tier, C tier builds, 15 GRs behind S tier, 20 GRs behind S tier. 15 GRs is a times 10 monster HP multiplier. 20 GRs is roughly a times 20 HP multiplier. You could literally add another zero to, to those sets and it wouldn't even end up on the top. So this is how far off they are and how bad some of these sets are. And to me, I really don't understand why the easy changes are not being done. You know, this is so easy to do compared to this big inner rework, compared to this big season theme. I feel like changing the number on a set, they don't even need to make new items with new affixes or you know new uh, numbers on the items. You literally just take the set itself and change it. And this could be done for like 10 or 15 different sets at once. And it will also, you know, move the, the, the game a bit in the right direction to even out things a little bit. Because if you go like, you know, one or two set reworks every season, it's going to take years until we have rotated for everything. And at that point, you know, who's going to play D3 anymore when D4 is out? I figured that after season 23, where they introduced the set leaderboards, the only logical conclusion that you can get out of the season when you think about what to do next season is to take all the shit sets and buff the fuck out of them. And we are seeing absolutely nothing of that. There's no buffs for the Witch Doctor, which is like a super terrible class right now. And these most other classes have some kind of build that kind of works for, you know, most purposes. Witch Doctor doesn't have any of that. Witch Doctor is squishy to play. Witch Doctor is not welcome in any group. It has uh, massive toughness issues on every single build. So nothing of that really got addressed and nothing of you know, all these other sets that don't really do anything or have any purpose uh, is really being changed. Now imagine you see this patch notes and you have this amazing season theme and you have this big inner rework and you're like, yeah, okay, I don't really wanna play inners, so what do I get out of this patch? And the answer is you get nothing. And now imagine they take the two worst sets of every class and just triple the damage. And suddenly they're like, you know, HGR is higher or something. And suddenly you can actually push, you know, instead of like a very try hard 130 on, uh, I don't know, Raymond, maybe you can do close to 140. So it's actually kind of like catching up a bit to some other sets. Or maybe you actually really want to play uh, some other build that is, you know, not POJ on a monk. And now this would motivate people to actually do that, even if it doesn't end up at the top. Just because you see this number, you know, it got tripled here and doubled there and quadrupled here. And uh, this would really, you know, give everyone of every class something to look forward to. Because not everyone wants to, you know, grind all those inferior items for every class, for the transmogs. Not everyone wants to play like a pet build with inners. And aside from that, there's not really anything. I believe that every single patch should have something for everyone. So last time around we had the set leaderboards, we had the follower changes, that was already amazing. Everyone got something out of this patch. But this time almost no one gets something out of this patch unless you want to grind all seven classes for the transmogs. I mean there are also other options to bring something new to the game for everyone and uh, you know just take this set patch that we have and why not expand a bit on the emanate system for example i also thought that you know this time around we're gonna get like at least five new emanate items because they realized that the system works so well and solo players still need more help so this didn't happen why can't we have a new legendary gem maybe one or two every season or something so there are so many things that could be added but i believe that especially the set changes would already make a huge difference here yeah, and this is pretty much what i have, have to share and the feedback that i want to give I believe that this patch is too small and the biggest issue is there are no buffs that a lot of people expected and myself included I'm I'm happy with what we got but I'm very sad about the things that we didn't get and I think this is something that the dev team should really uh, take to heart and do some you know maybe mid PTR changes after we have tried all the inner mechanics and uh, the season theme uh, there would be time left because the patch is not really big to actually just, you know, slap on some damage numbers on uh, a lot of builds, maybe some toughness too, in some cases. 
and uh, just let people have fun with all the really underperforming sets as well for the next season. And then you can take those numbers from there, you know, in season 25, season 26, and kind of like fine tune stuff to all bring them, you know, closer together over time. Because the balancing actually needs to start, you know, as soon as possible if you want to end up in a situation where every set is, you know, kind of usable. So right now we have extremely terrible sets and, you know, it's going to be very difficult to balance them perfectly in one go. So it's much easier to, you know, just triple the damage now and then maybe realize, okay, next patch, we have to double it again. And then from there you see, ah, okay, maybe another plus 20% and it's fine, you know, something like this. But now you would have to do, you know, everything in one go, basically, if you want to go uh, set by set or if you want to balance them out. Uh, in, in one patch and obviously this is gonna lead to scenarios where something might be overlooked and lead to some super OP interaction that uh, would have to be nerfed again and also these continuous buffs over time would probably keep the hype up over the seasons as well because you know this time around Raymond got a times 3 buff and well we realized it's not enough so next time it gets another buff and people are gonna be even more hyped to play this, this set then because now they realize okay now it's even better than last time yeah so these are my thoughts about the patch notes that we didn't get yet, I would hope. So I would really like to see uh, some buffs. At least one set for every class should definitely get something. At least the Witch Doctor should maybe get like a Lacumba update or something like that to give like the class overall some toughness. So there could be could be some things like this that um, just would make people a lot happier with the patch. Which right now I I feel like there is some good stuff here, some exciting stuff, but. And a lot of people also like, yeah, why would I play this? So these are my two cents. Let me know what you think. And if you have any suggestions, if you even have some actual numbers done or something, I didn't calculate anything with those buff suggestions. I was just saying that you don't have to be very careful about buffing the very terrible sets because they are too far away to ever become good unless you literally give them another one or two zeros or something. So this is what I have to share. Let me know your thoughts and I'll see you guys next time.